Hello the internet, I'm Gab. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys, one of my favourite channels. Very high production value, Corridor Digital. I like it. It's a good channel. Uh, even the second channel's good. So what I'm going to do is just nick one of their ideas. <laughs> At least you're being upfront about yeah, it. Yeah, I saw them try and slice an arrow in half with a katana. Um, and it looked pretty cool. That sort of medium slow-mo. So yeah. I figured, why don't we just super slow-mo? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to be firing the arrow. You're going to have to do the chopping. Yeah, how do and you I'll feel that? I'll just preset the phantom. I don't know, I, I feel like I did archery at beavers or something. Beavers? Oh, you're going to fire off now? Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, all right, okay. Oh, God. You've already... <sighs> all right. Oh, that is gone. That goes at some clip, that. I'm so, I sort of lost my confidence in you being able to do it now. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't really have any control other than... I guess I could do some micro pulls, but really once it's locked in, that's like a set speed, isn't it? Yeah, you have to aim that nicely so I can actually hit it, because uh, otherwise I'm going to be just going collecting arrows. How many attempts do you think it'll take you to sever it right in the middle of the arrow? A clean, clean cut? Yeah. I reckon like 30 times. And how many arrows do we have? We've got six. We've got six. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of didn't really think about it that much. <laughs> <laughs> just get one. Yeah. One arrow, it yeah, won't well, break. Uh, yeah, right, you know, if I miss it, it won't break. All right, let's uh, set up the phantom All right. and start what could be a very long process of trying to get this shot. All right. Okay, so we're going to do a few things. Because there's no one on the phantom, I'm going to have the trigger on a wire in my pocket. And just so Dan doesn't get skewered through the guts, these are sort of rubber-tipped training arrows that would probably hurt but not go in to Dan. All right, Dan, goggles on, gloves on. Yep. You think you can hit the target? I don't know about that. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Flipping heck. <laughs> that really goes in and all. Yeah. Don't hit me with that thing. I'll try not to. Okay. All right. If you can get it on the first attempt, you'll save us all a lot of time. Yeah. I'm off screen because uh, I need to be far enough away that Dan can see. All right, I'm going to count you down though. Whew. This is going to be hard work. I can tell already. Three, two, one, fire. I got it. I got it! Trigger! I got it! <laughs> what? I nailed it! I got the front! I got the front! I got the front! What? I got it! <laughs> Wait. I got it! Wait. I got it! Clean! Wait. I got it clean, me! What? What? Did I get it? Alright, pack it up! <laughs> <laughs> So I bought six, we needed one. <laughs> Excellent, there we so go. Wait, that was my test one. That was your test one. And then you got it on the next one. Yeah. I was like, got my eye in, and we're done. Oh, I, th I thought this would be a longer video because it, it took the corridor guys a few goes. We got here so early for this. We have like hours left. Oh, we could just try it again and get a close up. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That's delicious. Jesus. Well, either I was going to miss or you deflected the arrow away from the target. Yeah, wait, so I like sliced it. I think you weren't missing. You I think you... Yeah. You deflected the arrow, it, it bounced up, and then the flights kicked in again. It stabilised and continued higher than the target. We could have used real arrows with somebody stood there. <laughs> well, I think the tip would have still hit them. And then the, 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 the like tip did. span and like went in backwards. To be fair, you did make a nice clean sever that would have really hurt still. Oh yeah, well that's true. <laughs> you, oh you sorry, like, like the guy behind me who I'm like protecting is gonna be like, ow, but you, you <laughs> well, cut he, me with he, this. He would be stood there with the tip of the arrow. <laughs> it out, like, People would be like, you know what? I'm, I appreciate <laughs> it, but look at what, look, look at that. People would be like, how did that happen? <laughs> Like, what happened? I can't believe that. Thanks. That's pretty good, isn't it? God. Happy with that. That was wicked. Yeah? Yeah. So the tip landed here, right? Oh. And that's, that's how I know I got it properly, because I, I, 
I sliced, felt a very small amount of resistance, and I looked around and I saw the tip. Wow, what a clean slice. It is, isn't it? So this is where it hit and then bounced off onto the floor. Oh, this part isn't quite so clean and there's a small shard of it that's come off the back there. That part is, uh, marries up with the front and there's like a small bit of like wood that's come off yeah. the side. Well, it also hit the ground a lot, you know, with a lot more force because it was still sailing away. Oh, that's probably the chipping here, but this second part, I'm sure that came off in the slow-mo. We can see that little extra yeah. chip come off. Okay, this time for a close-up, I'm going to try and fire right past the Phantom. Nice. Try not to shoot it and then we'll try and get a much closer shot of you doing the exact same thing if you can. I'll try. I imagine if that actually hits me, it's going to bloody hurt. Yeah, I bet it would. Be a nice bruise. I've got, I just trust you here, right? Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, fire! Got it! Oh, I got the back of it. You got it? I got the back of it. You know what? I, I'm actually slightly worried at how close to the lens I put that. I, I must have missed that by a few inches. Eyes on the arrow. Eyes on the prize. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. oh, see that one. The bloke oh, still died. The guy died. still got it to the gut. At least he didn't get to the shoulder. Oh, yeah. That was actually really nice positioning of the of where that hit because all the feathers are coming off in focus. Oh yeah, there's like loads of actual feathers just like splintered everywhere. What you need is uh, directly in the middle, and hopefully. Just like in Armageddon, they'll miss the target. Oh yeah. Um, just like that asteroid missed the Earth. We've got two arrows left. I think you're asking a bit much here. <laughs> All right, the weather's taking a turn. We're losing light. We might get rained on in a bit, but before that happens, let's try and get one more. Same angle, I like that angle. Okay. Just try and get a more central hit. I know it's asking a lot. All right, I'll try. Three, two, one, fire. Got it. Got, this, got the end again. <laughs> Damn it. How much time do you think distance-wise there is between there and there? Time? Time. 0. 0.00 something of a second. So I it think. seems like I'm miles out, but I'm point bugger all. Yeah, I would away. say that I would say the difference between here and here could be measured in milliseconds. Probably. Yeah. It's going pretty fast. We could it's probably calculate how quick bloody fast, yeah. How uh, quick that is. We can calculate it on the wide. Yeah. Three, two, one, fire! I got it at the back again, damn it. <laughs> Whoa, that was a really nasty cut. Was it? Yeah. I sliced it really finely there. How was it? Oh, it was, it was a pretty nasty splinter, but I think you saved the bloke. Did I? Well, it, you made it so that each end of the arrow sort of hit him flat. Ah. Uh, and the top half deviated away. Well, we ran out of arrows quite quickly because you were so damn good at getting them. I mean, I got them from the beginning and sort of like the middle. Oh, yeah. And the end. I'd like to think that you could, I'd like to think that you could stand behind me on a battlefield and be all right. Yeah, I, I, would, I would stand behind you. Yeah? Yeah. I'd probably take it instead of here, I'd take it like here and here. Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting the way that the further forward you hit on the arrow, it would always deviate the arrow. But if there was enough of the arrow left, the feathers could still cause the rifling to the point where it would just stabilize again Bec on a different on a different path. Also, because of the weight of the arrows is that the front, the, the further forward the, the slice was, the cleaner the cut, yeah, because less... obviously the weight is behind the cut, whereas there's less weight behind the cut and it's sort of easily movable. So it's going to be much less. There were much more splintery yeah. and sort of long cuts at the back. Yeah, if you see the comparison there between the front and the back. So we pretty much can't film anymore because A, we're out of arrows and B, there's a big old storm rolling that's about to blow all of our equipment away. Well, that's, that's not the only reason. <clears throat> there is a C. There's a reason C as to why we're stopping filming. And uh, I sort of I sort of shot the monitor. You destroyed the monitor for, for the slow-mo camera, so we can't actually shoot anymore. That's the big reason why we can't shoot. It's because you hit it with that arrow. I'm still upset. We've got a full video on uh, the monitor carnage over on the second <laughs> channel, so make sure you check that out. If you like seeing things that are expensive and useful destroyed, we just don't usually break equipment on this channel, surprisingly. Surprisingly, it's very I think rare. that's the first loss of equipment since the uh, classic GoPro Canon incident. Wait, that means we're even. <laughs> yeah. We're one all. <laughs> but mine was a GoPro. Yeah. And yours was that. Mine was a several thousand dollar small HD monitor. Yeah. Ow. 
All right, make sure you go and check out the video over there because uh, we need to buy a new monitor now. Yeah, yeah. subscribe and watch yeah, loads of videos. Subscribe at yeah. the bell, tell nine friends. Yeah, yeah. We need, to, <laughs> we need to fund a new monitor. Guys, they've broken some equipment. <laughs> really. yeah. All right, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Love and kisses. I think I was born in the wrong time. You would have been an excellent Japanese man from the past. <laughs>